Question 24. This, you see this picture, you should think about Doppler effect. A source of sound of frequency f at point z. Alright, so the source is here at z, moving at a steady speed. Okay, the pattern of the emitted wave front is shown. Okay, interesting. Which row describes the frequencies of the sound heard by the stationary observers X and Y? Alright, so it's pretty obvious that Z is moving towards X because Z is compressing the wave towards Z. Okay, so this Z is moving in this direction. But even if I don't know that, what I can do is I can stare at this part and see that the separation between the wave profile is smaller, between the circles is smaller. So I can say that here, lambda is decreased or lambda is less. So if lambda decrease, frequency should increase. Higher pitch. And the reason why frequency is increased is because we are going to keep the speed of sound constant. So we're keeping the speed of sound constant. So here, lambda decrease, frequency increase, meaning the frequency heard at x must be greater than f. Greater than f, greater than f. Okay, because frequency increase. All right, next. What about the other side? If you look at this part, you check out this part here, all this wave looks like it is being stretched out because the wave source is running away from Y. So here the wave is stretched out, the distance or the gap is bigger, lambda here is actually greater. So if lambda is greater, your frequency will decrease for the same reason. V equal to F lambda. You want V to stay the same. So if this value of lambda become big, this F should become small so that when you multiply them, you still get the same value. So frequency would be smaller less than f, less than f. So you see though. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Uh, if you need to do some calculation question, there are many in past years, so go try them out. Uh, the equation is also given in the formula list, but this one is just testing your concept and your understanding. All right, so in this question, right, if you memorize the equation, but you don't know the theory behind the equation, then you probably may struggle a bit. Okay, because they also didn't tell you which is the direction that the source is moving. They didn't say that Z is moving towards X. You and I know it's moving towards X because we understand the idea that when Z approaches X, the wave front will be compressed. So that compression will cause the wavelength to drop. But the speed have to stay the same, so the frequency will increase. Or if the ambulance is driving towards you, you will hear a higher pitch. Okay, so here is a higher pitch and here is a lower pitch. So it's just testing your concept, all right? Not the calculation. Okay, that's it for this question.